Okay, hey, we, we got, got a few. few. Hey, how about the rest of you? Now, you bird watchers, you're going to know what this is, but the rest of you, let's see if you're bird watchers or not. What would you call a hawk with a red tail? Red tail hawk! <laughs> see, you're all bird watchers, you just didn't want to admit it. Friends and ladies, we're very proud to present to you for her first time at the New York Renaissance Festival, Rosie, our red tailed hawk. Come on out, Rosie. Come on, Rosie. Rosie, I'm over here. Rosie. She's not trying to. Come on, Rosie. There you go. Ooh. Rosie, you. our red tailed hawk. Red-tailed hawk gets its game from the red tail feathers that you see. But the red-tailed hawk didn't have a red tail. In fact, when the red-tailed hawk first left its nest in about 30 days, she was as big as the adult, but she had her immature feathers, brown tail feathers, a brown back, and a white chest. After one year of age, she molted out those immature feathers and they're replaced with the adult feathers that you see here. Red-tailed hawks are one of the most birds of prey, more properly called creatures. In fact, these birds of prey are found in all parts of this country. Whether you go to the west coast or the east coast, uh, wait a minute, uh, ma'am, ma'am, this is a bird of prey. What do you have in your hand? I'm just thinking that. <laughs> this is a little piece of chicken. That big turkey leg for this hawk.